So I probably have to clean that up at some point. So that took a lot longer than uh, I'd actually planned. I think I spent probably like, well, two and a half hours, maybe three hours doing that. So uh, I think it's time to get started. And also I found another package with t-shirts. So um, this is where we're at right now, uh, in case you didn't watch the last one, I can uh, catch you up. So what we've got right now is basically we've built an SQL database using Postgres, then we built an API on top of that using Python and Flask. So now basically we're able to add different users and make different calls to the API. So the next step now is going to be to try to figure out how to make the database work with other things than just a user. So for instance, I think I'm going to make kind of like a note taking app. So uh, there will be a notebook and then inside that notebook there will be different notes and then each notebook should be connected to a user. So that's what we're going to do now and then I'm thinking I'm going to make an app too, just a very simple app where it's just going to be like a text field and then you can write something in it and then press like save and then that should add it to the database to your personal notebook and then a new entry or something into that notebook and this is not what the app that i'm trying to build is but i think this is a good way for me to kind of learn how to work with all these different technologies so that's what we're going to do now Okay, so uh, now this is what I've done. I've created a user table and then we have a notepad which will contain all the notes. Then I've created another class called note. So that's what I've done so far. And then I've added some of the API calls and uh, basically we can do the sign up. One, two, three, four, five, six. The init method Okay, that should not be there. Post should not be there. All right, I think this should work now. <laughs> yep, so welcome 18. I changed this to be the ID of the user just so that I could see that what the ID was. And then uh, now we know what the ID is. We can then call 18. So that's the ID of the person. And this is the call that we're going to make. So we add the ID of the user and then add and then notepad. 
go add note pad like so and then that shows us the id of the notepad so then we know that we've added a notepad and then we can also do add note and then that just it says yes and this is the add note and that just adds a title and a text to the note and then we can go to this one which is the database so the sql and then we can do select star from users and we get all the users that we've added and then we can do select star from notepad and now we should get a notepad that has a user with an id of 18 and i think the notepad id should be 18 as well oh no it's eight. Oh yeah that's right actually it should be because it's a primary key and it doesn't have any relationship to anything else here so notepad id doesn't have any relationship to anything and then we can do select star from note and then we should get a note with a note id and that should be a unique note id and then we also should get the text and that should just say text and then the title should just say title and then we should get a notepad id which should be eight all right so that's the id which is 10 text title and eight now we could try adding one more note and then do the same thing Yeah, so you see they refer to the same notebook, but they are two different notes based on the ID. So they would say different things or they could say different things. Yeah, so that's how it's going to work. And then basically it would just be one notebook for every user. So now the next uh, step would be to create an app that calls this API. Anyway, let's build the basic UI for the app. All right, so um, today we are going to try to get the actual app built. So in Flutter, I'm going to try to get the app to call the API and then add different notes and stuff to the notebook uh, or notepad. And also, since it's really good weather and it's the Easter weekend, I'm going to go with my parents and my girlfriend to my parents' holiday house. So um, yeah, that's what's happening today. And uh, the ferry didn't work, so that's why we had to walk. But now I'm late for a meeting with my uh, class, so I'll get into that. All right, so um, now we have a uh, starter flutter project up and running. Now the next step will be to uh, just try to, by pushing this button, to send some message to the API and then see how that, how that works. Okay, so now I've created the get so that we can get a, a note. So basically, if you have the ID of the user, I think there's one for 18 as well. Then you get the ID of the actual note and then the notepad ID and then the text of the note and then title of the note, which is now just title and text. Uh, so this is the JSON response that we get. Now the next thing is to, I think, follow this tutorial and just see how Flutter deals with converting the JSON response to an object and all these like asynchronous methods as well. 
So um, now this is the response that we get from calling this API and then if we go to um, the Flutter project then we have this method here which is a future builder. This then either returns nothing if there's no response or if there's an error and then if we get the actual uh, response then it returns this which is the title of the post and that is the title from here so that should just be title so then if we go to this flutter thing and we run it again so now we get the actual response from the api now the next thing would be to uh, be able to actually add new notes so i'm going to create like a text field and then a button that says send and then I'll just use the user ID of one of the users that I've already created. And then that should add a new note that has some title and uh, some text. So that's the next step. Good morning. Today we are doing some uh, salmon fishing. Well, it's some sort of uh, salmon fish. I'm not sure exactly what the name of it is in English, but it's some sort of salmon. And I just wanted to show you how beautiful the water looks right now. It's like super clear. Pretty much no wind. Now the wind picked up just because I said that, but anyway, I'm going to do some fishing and hopefully I'll catch some salmon. And uh, also this is something that I pretty much try to do every time that I'm here. I try to get up a little bit earlier and get out and do some fishing in the morning. And uh, yeah, it's a nice little quiet time. All right, so um, now I think I've built it out so that you can add a note in the text field and then press the add button and then that should add it to the database and then it should reload and get that note and add that as the latest note. You say, let me press add. So now we get the date and then the note is hello, this is my note. When you press the add button, it's a post request. Then this loads, which is a get request. If the request method is equal to get, then we just show data that we want to show. And then if the method is post, then we create a new note from whatever data we get. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with where we're at so far. All right, with this great sunset and completely still ocean, I think it's time to end this vlog. 
but I'm really happy with where we're at with the app and with the server and the API and the database and all that. So um, that's how far we got in this one and we'll see how far we get in the next one.